Hey guys, so welcome back to another adventure. Um, today we're down at Macra Beach, just on the west coast of Wellington, and I'm heading out on the kayak for an overnight catch and cook. Hopefully, get some fish today, camp up, we've got the tent and everything loaded up in the kayak, and all the camping gear, and the fishing gear, so yeah, looking like a good couple of days weather-wise, the wind saying it's going to hold off, which is good. So I'm just going to head round out here, head round to the south and probably paddle for, there's a spot that I've scoped out before on the beach for a, a good campsite. So yeah, I'm pretty fully loaded, um, hoping it's not too heavy, I've got and I've had to bring a bit of water with me. I've got the fishing gear and all the tent and everything. Um, I am using these outriggers that came with the kayak. I've never used them before, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I've never really seen them on any kayaks in New Zealand. I think it's an American kayak, so maybe it's something that they use out there. But um, yeah, it's going to make it more stable and can only help. I mean, it, yeah, maybe it will slow it down a bit, but I'd say I'm not going too far. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping to get a, hoping for a snapper for dinner tonight. And I have got, I haven't bought my full dive gear, but I've got mask, snorkel, booties and gloves and whatever. So if it's, um, it's pretty warm, so I might jump in and try and get a power or a crayfish or something. But yeah. We'll head off and see you in a bit. So we're looking pretty clear out here. Um, yeah, conditions are looking good. So we'll have a paddle out around the point. And yeah, see how we go. There's a um, spot just on the point here called Sunken Rock. Um, a lot of guys dive there. There's been a few kingfish shot there and caught there. But um, yeah, I'll drop in a soft bait over there. So here we go. So I decided on this trip that I wouldn't bring any bait. Um, just one because it's mucky and gets the kite covered in shit. And so I thought I'd just soft bait. Um, I've seen a lot of people using these white gulp. They are mud minnows. Um, yeah, I've seen it online. A few snappers have been caught on these. People are raving about them. So I'll start off with a yeah with a white mud minnow. See so how we go. I'm out at Sunken Rock. There's just a couple of divers over there. It's not far out at all. It's 100 meters off, off the shore. Um, the old stabilizers at the back seem to slow the kayak down quite a bit, um, although they do support it from rocking around too much. But yeah, I mean, it's worth giving them a go. And if it does chop up, it's good to know that they are keeping the boat nice and steady, kayak nice and steady. All right, give her a shot. Here we go. First fish on the soft bait. Mud minnow, not sure what it is. Maybe a car why kind of screamed off. A bit of weight there. Oh, it's, yeah, it's pretty decent. Taking some line. Mm, yeah, not bad. I'd say a bloody, maybe a cooter or a be a cooter. Definitely got weight to it though. It's pulling me around, whatever it is. I've had bad luck with Barracuda recently, so we're going by my luck. But it was on the 
the, the bait was on the bottom, so... Obviously hoping for a snap-up. Carway. Decent size, but... Size, not what I wanted, but we'll send this guy back. It's strange because it was bang on the bottom. Uh, yeah, decent sized car wire. You know, buddy. Uh, I'm hooked up again, but. Cool car wire again. Uh, just feels that kind of weight on the line. But you never know. Uh, yeah, car wire. No, no, sharpie. Hey, big shark. Is it a rig? No. Tangled up. Tangled up in the line there. Come on, buddy. That's the only thing with these, they wrap themselves around. It is a rig shark, and they're bloody good eating, but. Again, not what I wanted. If I can just there, there. I've come in a bit closer. I'm kind of only 30 odd meters from the rocks. And I've hooked into something. Again hoping not a car wire, but it's quite a bit of weed round here, so oh, it's a, it's a bluey. Oh yeah, nice one as well. Very nice. Oh yeah, he's decent. I'm kind of half tempted to take him for dinner. Um, shit, if I'd got him yesterday or oh, tomorrow, I would have kept him to take home. But he's a decent blue cod. Central camp spot for the night. A little bay. I'm just going over here because I need to piss. <laughs> Can't really piss off a kite, it's quite hard. So, uh, you know, I'll put up here, take a leak. It's, uh, it's bloody clear as well, you can see. Be good for a little snorkel and try and get power. Or crayfish. But yeah, I'll put up here, have a look. I mean, it's only. 20 past 11, it's still early. The fish are biting, so I think I'll be good to get something for dinner. If not a snapper, the blue cod seem to be around here, so let's see where we go. But yeah, what a spot. I know there is farmland at the top, and it could be part of farmland, but Sure, it's frowned upon if you camp up on the beach for the night, I don't know. Yeah, bloody clear though, look at this. Yeah, definitely have to go for a bit of a swim around here, I reckon. Definitely. Got these awesome little caves around here as well. Stone caves. Cut out into the rock. Just noticed that there is actually fresh water flowing down here. Um, there is a farm above, so it'll be from a irrigation system, or I don't know that there's any rivers around here, so it's probably pretty fresh. Hmm. I have brought fresh water with me, so. 
It's all right, but yeah. Cool. Well, I know that if I do get desperate, I've got the water filter with me as well, so if I need fresh water. It's awesome. Alright, let's go. Fish out here. Pretty cool. Big old things as well. There's a few different varieties around here. Um, about four or five different ones. These ones are pretty crazy. They're like bubbles on the top of them. I haven't actually got any tentacles. I can't see any, but yeah. Pretty gnarly looking things. So this is potentially the new spot I've, I've carried on fishing and paddled around back the way I came. And I'm quite far from that last spot, so I think I might stick around this way. Um, there is a potential spot over there, there's a bit of tree cover here because I was a bit worried about the rocks um, above me if I'm putting the tent underneath but there's an area where there's the trees so there's no rocks above it so it's a little bit safer I think so yeah I'll go and have a look see what's happening over there and snorkel and uh yeah got a nice size power as well so we've got blue cod blue cod and power for dinner okay we are at the camp spot for the night and finally found somewhere I could actually put in on the kayak a lot of a lot of the bay is, is all rocky so you can't even get the kayak onto the beach. So I put this spot here which is fine. Um, yeah I've set up set up camp. So we've got the tent up. Set up for a fire later. 
I've had to uh, set up a bit of a makeshift sun shelter because yeah it's been hot and sunny all day and I've had enough sun for one day and I need, need to take shelter so um, it's only half five still got sort of three more hours of sunlight um, but yeah pretty awesome little bay for the night um, yeah I got that blue cod earlier and I went for a little dive snorkel around here and got a power so I'll slice that up and fry it up as a sort of starter um, yeah it's, it's not bad but the weather's great and yeah very peaceful no one else around so yeah it's gonna be a nice nice evening just gonna relax in the shade for a bit and uh, yeah wait for the sun to go down Crank the fire up. Yeah, blue cord. I'm going to cut the blue cord hole. I'm just going to kind of butterfly it out. Um, and I've got some spices and a lemon, and yeah, so that should be a good good meal for tonight. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this fire going. Yeah, try and get it going with the flint striker. There we go. Some, uh, I think it's like coconut husk. It was on the beach. Uh, give it a go. There we go. Straight in. dry bark here as well. It's gonna be handy. Too easy. A load of pine cones here as well. Someone I heard somewhere recently that it's actually quite bad to cook on driftwood um, because of all the where it's been sitting in the salt water and then it as it burns all the chemicals in the salt go into the food and I'm not sure how true this is but I mean I'll try to pick a few bits of timber that aren't <coughs> Um, they haven't been sitting for too long, they kind of look half sort of fairly new, but I mean, I'm sure it'll be alright. Yeah, the pine cones look pretty fresh there. Awesome. Alright, so I've prepped the blue cod and the power, slice it up nice and thin and just scored, the scaled and gutted the fish and scored him up and then I'm just going to chop up some potatoes and a red onion chuck them in the tin foil and chuck them next to the fire should be good This is a new knife I got, Joker. It's a Spanish, Spanish handmade hunting knife. Yeah, I really like the handle on it. I'm not sure what wood it is, but yeah, I needed a decent, decent sort of bushcraft knife. Yeah. Keep it nice and sharp. Um, I'm just going to chop these, chop them quite thin. 
bring these out of the cook quicker. So, what we're going to do with these, I've got some lemon garlic salt. And there's some pepper in there as well, actually. Um, yeah, a little bit of seasoning. And just a little bit of olive oil. Dinner's up. So we've got sliced power fried up. Just the potatoes and onions with a bit of seasoning, um, just on the fire in the tin for. And then the blue cod with um, stuff with a lemon and seasoning. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay hey guys, so that's yeah, the day done, um, just finished dinner, just gone for a walk around the, the bay, the sun's just setting, um, yeah, spot on day really, got some fish, got some powers, and yeah, chilled out, made a fire, cracking down the water, um, so yeah, tomorrow I'll get up early probably sunrise pretty much um, and then yeah kayak background to the car park where the van is and yeah back to Wellington it's, yeah it's been, a, it's been a good trip good overnight maybe next time get a couple of the other guys and maybe even come out here on the boat you could you could even put up on the boat anchor up and um, yeah, camp on the beach. So, I mean, you got to make the most of days like this in Wellington. So, get at it. All right. So, morning, day two. Um, yeah, I packed up camp. I was a bit, I was a bit concerned this morning. I woke up and there was white caps out in the bay. And I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get back in, get back round, but I gave it an hour and it seemed to ease off a bit. It's still quite choppy now, but yeah, I'm back at Macra, Macra Bay. Um, yeah, it's a bloody hard, hard paddle back actually, trying to battle with the chop and the swell, but yeah, got it done. Still got to get the kayak up on the beach, hoping there's not too much shop on the beach. Um, I've done it here a few times, so it should be alright. If not, there is a, um, a boat ramp, and then where the river comes out. But, yeah, good overnighter, all in all. Catch and cook was a success. And, yeah, last night was yeah, awesome conditions. Had a pretty good night's sleep. So, yeah, on to planning the next adventure. Maybe somewhere in the boat. We've got our boat in the water now. Um, there'll probably be a few videos coming soon of us chasing kingfish. And, yeah, heading out to the deep waters around Wellington. <clears throat> but, yeah, stay tuned.